By the time of the raid on Polis Massa, the men of the 501st were starting to get a little sick of the so-called rebellion. In the past, we'd secretly enjoyed putting down a local insurrection or two. They kept the troops sharp and the Empire feared. But these rebels were different. They were organized, they were growing, and they were everywhere. The raid on Polis Massa was a perfect example of how things were starting to fall apart. We were supposed to go in, wipe out a small band of rebels, and recover some stolen Imperial plans on an encrypted holodisc. Before we knew it, we were nearly overrun by rebel forces, with the holodisc nowhere to be found. All right, men, Lord Vader wants this raid done by the book. Our first objective is the comm center, just beyond this hangar. Nicely executed troops. Now it's time to make our way to the base command building on the far side of the facility. If our intelligence is right, along the way we'll find a rebel holodisc containing some very important plans. It'll take time to realign the comm dish and transmit the data from the holodisc. You'll have to hold off the rebels until the transmission is complete. Do not let the comm facility fall into enemy hands.
caverns of this complex. The rebels have a data bank that holds Imperial encryption codes that can be used to eavesdrop on our ship-to-ship -ship communications. Make your way to the caverns and destroy the data bank. got good news and bad news. The good news is it's time to get off this dreary rock. The bad news is the rebels have taken over the hangars. You'll have to fight our way out.
Our raid is a success, and even though the holodisc didn't have the plans we're looking for, it will lead us to someone who does. They're flanking us! Even though the Polis Massa raid was only a partial success, we finally had a lead on the whereabouts of the Death Star plans which suited the 501st just fine.